Here's some stuff you need to know. First thing we want to start with is checking our gauges and our pressures for the resin, which is this tank here. And that's just a polyurethane uh, based resin right there that creates the foam. And this is foaming agent, just basically soap and a special, special kind of soap and water. The resin will be your yellow hose running around. So it's using a resin, not a two-part polymer mix then? No, sir. Just straight okay. resin. Yes, sir. Gotcha. And it comes straight to this manifold here where you want your gauge to read about a 200 PSI. And the temperature has to be around 75 degrees for us to make good foam. Your resin, I mean, your foaming agent here goes through your red hose. You want it to be at 100 PSI. And you want your temperature to be around the same, 75 to 80. So that temperature is 75. You guys are creating that. That's not the outside temperature. No, sir. No, sir. Since obviously this is Texas, we have provisions just in case it gets too hot. Yeah. We have a chill box in the back. And in the winter, we have a heater in the back to help us cool it down. So the products flow through these valves. They start coming together here in the shaft. Right. And start mixing together. This is where the foam is made in the mixing chamber. The air, the foam agent, the resin all combine here and it shoots out the foam. So this is our standard hose. Standard hose has to be like seven feet long in order to go far enough down into the cavity. No, 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 that's not right. Now you, you, you're taking all the weight. You don't have to stand there. Exactly, exactly. Day. You put it together like a Ghostbuster suit and you yeah. have a pretty easy day, so. <laughs> all right, so you're gonna just clear out your lines. And the, the texture we're looking for is a shiny, warty or bumpy texture like this here. Okay. Yes, sir. So you stop it there. Now within six seconds, you should be able to break this foam apart. It starts curing immediately. It doesn't cure until, uh, fully cure until three days to a week, but just to make sure that you're making good enough foam, you see how it breaks apart? Yep. Within six seconds, you want to make sure it breaks apart just to make sure you're having good solidified foam. Make it look like a nice meringue. Yes, sir. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Want more videos like these? Make sure to hit that subscribe button. It'll keep you informed.